talk about your voice, okay? Your voice is so important. And there are a couple of different things that you can do in order to strengthen it and to have more command of it. Also, the reason I want to talk about it is because a lot of people get anxious in various situations, especially in business negotiation. Those situations can get very scary. And as you are feeling this anxiety building up, it can also impact how you can project yourself verbally, right? You can feel a little bit stiff here. You may not have the full capacity to express yourself. What are some of the things that you can do in order to feel more comfortable with your voice? The first thing is that when you speak, try to speak as you are breathing out. And the reason I'm talking about it is because a lot of people make a mistake of, of just not breathing, especially when we are in those high pressure situations, maybe on a stage. Because you are so stressed out, you forget to breathe. You're so focused on delivering. You're so focused on reading the room that you just forget to breathe. And when you don't have enough oxygen, it is extremely difficult to express yourself. Let me give an example. So right now, I'm going to literally push out almost all the air from my lungs and I'm going to try to talk to you. <sighs> hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to this video. And in this video, I want to talk to you about vocal projection. And I, you see, I, I can't even speak properly. Now, this is an extreme, an extreme example, but try it for yourself. Just push out some of the air from your lungs and try to speak. You'll notice that everything is trembling. Everything is super tight here. It's very hard to fully express yourself. Now, when I take a deep breath in and start speaking, there'll be a dramatic difference. What's going on, everyone? In this video, I would like to talk to you about how you can improve your voice. Makes a massive difference, doesn't it? So as you speak, please remember to breathe. Now, this may sound very simple, but you know what? A lot of us forget about it, right? Especially in those anxiety provoking situations. It's okay to pause as you are speaking to take a deep breath so you can use all that oxygen to fully project your voice. Now, another thing I want to talk to you about is that rather than just speaking from your throat, you should speak from your diaphragm. Okay, so as you're talking to people, imagine that your voice comes from here rather just from here. For example, right now I'm talking to you just from my throat. This is how I would sound if I was just talking to you in this course from my throat. Do you like the way I sound right now? <laughs> Actually, I can't even do this. It just sounds really bad. Okay, but right now, I'm speaking from my diaphragm. I imagine that all this voice comes from here, all the way from here. When you combine it with breathing, right? Breathing out as I, as I talk to you and also speaking from my diaphragm, my voice is completely different. Right? Now, you'll notice on some of those videos, some of them were made, for example, by the ocean. And even though you can't hear the wind because we have a very good microphone, there was a lot of wind some of the times. And, and because of that, I couldn't fully hear myself and I was over projecting. Now, that's not ideal. Ideally, you want to make sure you don't over project. You want to make sure that you are calm and you speak as you are breathing out. Another thing that I encourage you to do is to do tongue twisters and in general to warm up your vocal cords whenever you are about to go out there to talk to people. Now, there are different things you could do. One of them is singing. Now, I'm not going to do a demonstration because I don't really have a singing voice, but hey, singing is great. And I do sing when I'm driving the car, when I'm under the shower. It really helps to warm up our vocal cords. Now, another thing that you want to do is you want to play around with different range. Okay. So maybe normally you have a very short range of how we speak. Perhaps you speak like this when you are calm and you speak like this when you are excited, right? But you never speak like this and you never speak like this, right? So what you want to do is you want to play around with it before you go out there to meet people. You want to play with a bigger range. You also want to play with different sounds, with different noises. For example, Right? You may make noises like this. Now, I, I know it sounds really strange, but when you do it, you'll realize that your vocal cords are warming up. Now, one of the things that I like to do personally is beatboxing. Now, in case you don't know what beatboxing is, here's just a tiny demonstration so you are aware of what I'm talking about. <laughs> Now, this is something I used to do when I was a teenager and, you know, nowadays I do it only from time to time. I no longer do it out there at parties or on stages. Those years are long over, but 
I like to do this underneath the shower. I like to do it sometimes driving the car, looking around, and I like to beatbox before I get in front of the camera and before I get on a stage because it warms up my vocal cords. And another thing that I recommend you to do is tongue twisters. Like she sells seashells on the seashore. She sells seashells on the seashore. And you just keep going. You can find a bunch of those. Just Google them and play around and you will see that just after a few minutes of doing uh, tongue twisters, you will feel so much more power over your voice. And the last but not least, and this is really important, what is your intention? Okay, so when you speak to people, you need to have a strong intention because oftentimes what happens, especially if you struggle with some type of anxiety, maybe sometimes you feel socially awkward, you don't feel at your best, or perhaps you are confident, but you are about to enter a really uncomfortable business situation, right? So in those situations, it is important to have the right intention for what you're going to say. So when you are at a team gathering and everyone is given a little update and at some point, you know, it's going to be your turn. You know that the whole of the meeting will say, hey, tell us what's been happening with your team. So you know you will have to speak rather than just sitting there and just like, I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. I hate talking in front of people, right? Rather than having this negative internal dialogue that will basically become a self-fulfilling prophecy because what's going to happen is you don't want to speak. You know you don't feel confident. You know you probably will not sound confident. This is your conditioning, right? This is your mindset. This is the intention. Well, I'm probably not going to do very well. So when that person says, hey, can you share with us what's been happening with your team? Automatically, you get into your hide mode, probably close body language, probably slouching a little bit. You don't want to speak up. You maybe stand up a little bit and say, well, um, hey, everyone. So um, there are a few things that, that have been happening in our team, right? Again, you didn't give yourself an opportunity to speak up with power. So what you want to do is as you're waiting for your turn, you almost want to visualize how you will do it with power, with confidence, with charisma. So as you're sitting there waiting for your turn, literally visualize yourself standing up and just speaking up with power, right? And make an intention that you will be a captivating speaker during this team meeting, that you'll stand up, have a positive, powerful body language, and you will speak up. And when you visualize that, and when you set that intention, it will be much easier for you to get out of this hide mode and get into your into, into your beast zone where you stand up and it's going to become a positive self-fulfilling prophecy because now when it's your turn, you will stand up rather than just being like this, you probably open up, stand up straight, right? It's going to also create more space here so you can project yourself and you'll be more likely to say, Hey, welcome everyone. Very happy to have you here. And let me tell you what's been happening on our team. It's going to be easier for you to fully project yourself and to convey your message powerful. So here we go. These are a couple of really powerful tips, strategies that will help you to increase the power you have in your voice and also the control you have over your voice. The good thing is that just by listening to this video and thinking about it, you are changing your focus. You're becoming more aware of your voice. The funny thing is that as I'm making a video, and I have to say this, I have to just be very open with you. As I'm making this video about controlling your voice, guess what? I'm actually trying to make my voice better. I'm more conscious of it, right? But I'm out there when we've just climbed some hill, right? Took us an hour to get there and we're setting up the equipment and the sun is shining and I'm already tired and I'm filming and filming and filming. I may not be fully focusing on this, but right now because I'm talking about it, well, guess what? I'm actually focusing on talking from my diaphragm, speaking as I'm breathing out. I'm focusing on all of those things, having the right intention. So just by having the awareness, you're already taking steps forward. And now that you implement this advice, wow, it's going to make a massive difference.